Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you guys how to create a SQL project in Visual Studio 2019. I'll be using a already created sample database on SQL Server Management Studio and Visual Studios. The first thing I'm going to show you is my preset database on SQL Server. Then I'll create a project in Visual Studio, import the database from SQL Server into Visual Studio, and create a schema to compare Visual Studio changes and push them to SQL Server. Let's get started. Here, it's my preset database. I created a database that has a user table. It's a simple database just with a user table. As you guys can see here, you have, we have two entries on a database, which is a John and a test user. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, you should do for the example. Next step is we are going to create Visual Studio project. On the search bar, we're going to search for SQL and we're going to select SQL Server Database Project. Go ahead and click on it and click Next. Name your project however you want. Go ahead and click Create. Give it a second to create the project. So next step is going to be import your database from SQL Server to Visual Studio. Go ahead and right click on your project, click import, and then select database. Now select on this box, select, con select, select connection. If you already have pre-selected, you can select from the drop down. If not, just click on show connection properties, type your server name for my example, it's just localhost. And then at the bottom of the data database name, I'm going to select from the drop down my database name, which is going to be the task DB underscore new and go ahead and click connect. So next step is just going to have all you have to do is click start to go ahead to start the import from the database. If in your case, you want to change some of the settings, go ahead and see the, the section under import settings to make some changes. If not, go ahead and click start. Wait a few seconds here. Now it's done. Go ahead and click finish. As you guys can see here, it created a ta I mean, it created a folder named DBO. Under the folder DBO, you're going to see a folder called tables. And in the folder tables, you see your brand new table that is from our created database called table user. Next step now is going to be to create a schema compare so we can compare our Visual Studio schema to our SQL database schema. So go ahead and right click your project and click schema compare. Now a schema, schema compare is created. So the very first thing you're going to do is right click the drop down on the right side that says select target. Click select target. Here you're going to select your database connection. On my example, it's going to be the local host test db underscore new, which I previously selected. Go ahead and click connect. Go ahead and click OK. So our very first test here, we're going to compare what we have now to what we have before, which should be the same because I just imported the database. Let's give it a second here. As you guys can see here on this screen, there's no changes. Absolutely no changes because we haven't made any changes yet. So next step is let's go ahead and uh, create a new table to run some tests. Let's call the table customers. Go ahead and click add. As you guys can see on Visual Studio, I now I have a customer table. Now I'm going to create a table with a name, with an ID, VARC, and then in a name, VARCAR50. Okay, now, we, now we're going to run SQL compare one more time so we can so we can track our changes, so we can see our changes. All right, let's go ahead and click compare. As you guys can see here, if you see under add, there's a change for the table named customers. So in order to push this data into SQL, all we have to do is click update. And then what updates going to do is going to compare 
the Visual Studio changes to SQL Server to see if there's any changes. And then it's gonna ch check those changes. And there you go. So it already pushed those changes into to the SQL Server. So now that we're here, let's open up our database, do a refresh on our database, open up our table, go to the, now you see the customers, let's go ahead and query the customer table. So you see, and there we go. Now our next step is going to be to make a change into SQL Server and push that change into Visual Studio. And we're gonna be using SQL Compare to do all that. So let's get started. So it's pretty simple. All can be done using the schema compare. So as you guys can see here, we're gonna go ahead and create a, a brand new table in SQL Server. Let's name the table. Oh, actually, let's let's just do an ID for the first column. And let's let's do a name for the second column. This is just a sample, so it doesn't really matter what we use. We're not gonna put any data in it. Let's go ahead and hit save and name this types. Go ahead and click OK. Let's do a refresh on a database so we can see our types table into our SQL server. All right, let's, uh, so there it is. So our types table, it's now in SQL server. Let's go back to Visual Studio. As you guys can see here on the top, we're gonna swap, we're gonna switch the source and target. Now the database is gonna be our from target to Visual Studio, let's do a compare. As you guys can see, now there's an add to a table types into our project Visual Studio. We don't have that table right now in Visual Studio. So let's go ahead and click update to go ahead and push that change to Visual Studio. Go ahead and click yes to confirm. And there we go. Now we do have our table types into Visual Studio and database. So let's go ahead and create another test here. We're going to rename the first name on our customer table, a name to first name on our customer table and add a last name column. We're gonna have, go ahead and hit save. And then we're gonna hit compare to compare the changes. Oh, before we do that, we gotta make sure we swap and then hit compare. And as you guys can see, there's a change now. Go ahead and click update. So we can push the changes. Click confirm. And let's open up our database to make sure our changes were pushed to our database. Hit refresh and you open up the table, the customer tables, and there it is. If you guys have any questions or comments, just drop them below. Thanks for watching, guys.